advice that I would give to an up-and-coming female leader would be to work really hard, make sure that you have a vision that others can buy into, and follow your dream. Advice I would give up-and-coming female business leaders would be to always go into your passion. Even in the hard times, you'll still make it through and you'll feel good about getting on the other side of those tough times because you have that passion to drive you. You need to have courage, you need to have confidence, and you need to have the ability to take a risk. Put your head down and work hard um, and believe in yourself and to surround yourself with high quality, strong, smart people, and preferably people that are smarter than you. Women need to follow their dreams. They need to believe in themselves. They need to be confident and not give up. We've integrated philanthropy into the company in a number of different ways. This past year, we adopted a family and provided gifts for a family that obviously wasn't in a position to have gifts. One day a year, we close our company for our Community Services Day. And on that day, every employee and every agent take the day off and go back into the communities we serve. Our company supports the organization, the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. My sister died 17 years ago of pancreatic cancer. As a company, we're supporting this organization in support of each other, in support of other patients who have this disease. As a leader in, in industry, I think it's important that you give back. We need to make a difference, and giving back helps accomplish that. If you're involved in philanthropy, the feeling that you get from being able to help someone is euphoric. And I think the importance of passing it on is critically important to the success of the next generation. There are a couple of leaders that I admire and, and do try to model, and that would be Tony Robbins and Oprah Winfrey. I just believe in pushing through any struggles that I have and always looking for the bright side. The leader I admire most is uh, George Mitchell. He was one of the members of a, the CEO group that I was part of for many, many years. And I admired his wealth of experience, his way of looking at things, and really looking at the fact that you can get through anything. You just have to step back, reevaluate, and move forward.